Hello Agile lovers and Agile loungers. If you're not subscribed yet to Agile Lounge YouTube channel, do it right now. Subscribe and hit the bell for more Agile Insider tips and tricks from your coach chef. So here it is I am today to speak to you holistically and holistically and a business agility mindset outside of the software development. It's agility for all, it's agile for all. And we are going to have the help of our friend at Modern Agile, over at Modern Agile, to explain you the four values in this introduction. And then after, stay with me, we're gonna go through the 12 principles agnostically for any company of any size of any product or any services that they could put out there with true real agility. So remember that agile first and foremost is people first over anything else, over everything else. So the first value here and the modern way of explaining it for any people in the organization is make people awesome. Yes, we are all awesome and we have to together make people awesome. And the first person who should be awesome is our client that we serve because without client, you don't have a company. The second value is deliver value continuously. You probably heard Jeff Shutterlin talking about it and Scrum and his Scrum history. So this is very, very a way, a mindset. You deliver value continuously. This is important. The third one is make safety a prerequisite. And here we are not talking about the information technology security. We're talking about the safety of everyone and our product, our services, the way we do it in any ways possible. That will include also respect of each other, okay, to stay in a safe environment and have enough dangerosity to take some risk to develop our business and becoming a disruptor, but make safety a prerequisite and any decision that you'll take. And the fourth agile value will be experiment and learn rapidly. So exactly, Empirism, we are at the Agile Lounge, the forefront of it, bringing back Empirism and coaching Agile innovative ways. So these are the four value, agnostically that I invited you to adapt to help you make decision. And now, after this intro, we are going to see the 12 principles that come and reinforce it with substantion. See you soon on the other side. All right, Agile lovers and loungers, welcome back to this Agile Insider number one, the tip and tricks of really understanding what is agile in a world of business agility with a mindset of conscious agility and conscious leadership. These four values we just saw and now the principle that I'm going to show you are these values and principles that should help you as a team member, as a stakeholders, any type of stakeholders to take decision moving forward in the development of your services, product, and solution or what have you. And this is adapted for even sales and agility and marketing and human relation or what we call people and culture. There's no more human resources, right? Because we are not resource, it's people first over everything else. So here's the first principle is seek continuous discovery and respond to evolving customer needs. Yes, this is the one that principle that is actually something against the VUCA, the VUCA world we are living in. And this is very important that we always seek continuous discovery because you will learn constantly what your customer needs and you will adapt in consequences the service you offer. Second, oh yes, I like that one. Build products around motivated, responsible adults and give them the freedom to learn and success. So you see now, when we told you in our different workshop and tips, that substantion, it's very important to understand Scrum uh, product development as well as business agility. Substantion is the entire relation uh, of all these elements, the four values and the 12 principle, as well as the, enter the dynamic of interrelation and interaction between people. So build product around motivated, responsible adults. Yes, because we need maturity, we need capable people with skills and capability of doing it and they have to have the freedom to learn and succeed so it's also one of the scrum value of let them work and don't disturb them 
third principle it's give continuous attention to excellence absolutely because we will never be perfect but we have to seek excellence and to be very attentive on the customer user needs and every stakeholders needs have a say and we'll see later with another principle because it's not in order so i don't know uh, our interactive it is with another one and you'll tell me which one in the comment section below simplify which is maximizing the amount of work not done oh it's a tricky one huh why will you need to maximize the amount of work not done it's because what you already done according to your definition of done you should not put that much attention the continuous attention and excellence you should go and go through any challenge that the work not done have on your team or yourself is the way you will simplify the work not done by maximizing it you don't maximize but it's done if you agree it's done and if your customer is happy and fulfilled with it fourth constantly delight your customer et voila so it's exactly the interaction with the other four and uh, what is the most important stakeholder in the entire organization is your customer because again peter drucker will tell you without customer you don't have a company so <laughs> it's really important that you delight your customer if you'd like their return to purchase your delicious bread or cafe or what have you as a software all right the fifth <laughs> it's deliver meaning meaningful outcomes frequently exactly if it's not meaningful, why are you working on it on each cycle? Work only on agreed, prioritized, and valuable, meaningful outcomes and frequently. Frequently means at every iteration or every cycle. Six, the primary measure of progress is outcomes for our customers. Exactly. A lot of clients and stakeholders come to me as a coach and ask me, oh, Coach F, tell me, what uh, if I'd like to have uh, multiple KPIs and matrix to evaluate the work and the progress and so on? No, 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 no. You don't, you don't do this because we'll see also later in a principle, we talk about self-management, self-organized teams that they know because if you hire an engineer, it's because you trust and his knowledge and capability of deliver it. So the only KPIs you should concentrate on is the satisfaction of your customer. If your customer feel fulfilled using your product and then happy, he will return. So if he returns, here you have it. Your primary measure of progress is the outcomes that you produce for your customer with quality. Seven, one team. Yes, we are one team. There is no business and silo and technology people. They have to be and work together as one team. Even the one from the Agile Manifesto of 2001 and this modern Arnestic Agile is my favorite one because this is really what's uh, trigger me and motivate me to be an Agile coach and a business agility coach is to bring all the people together as one team and a common goal to achieve together. And yes, you could be different and have your say and opinions, of course, but really. And I will also say that among business and technology people, you should also look at how you interact with each other. For example, IT with development team or security team, do they also work as a team? Uh, and business, the same thing. Is marketing actually uh, talk enough with the sales force on the field and so on? So this is very important that even to bring it at this holistic moment of one team, what about your team interdepartmentally? So break the silos. Eight, uh, is it eight? Yes, it is eight. Maintain a con constant space and rhythm indefinitely. Probably inspired by Scrum and extreme programming. This is very important because again, don't ask me about velocity of your team. Ask me about how your team evaluate themselves and could promise, could compromise uh, itself to the product owner or the business owner. Uh, about uh, delivering into a cycle or many cycles maybe so ma ma by maintaining a constant pace and a minimum indefinitely and if you don't have any disturbance in your uh, norming or storming ways of your team if everybody's there with the capacity yeah, you'll see it in the scrum planning or any other planning because i don't want to say scrum i'm sorry about this but this is very important so you maintain the same amount of time the same amount of people cross-functional and then you'll be able to, and the velocity again is not for the stakeholder or the manager or the leader it is for the team to inspect and adapt and promise this one nine am i confused 
sorry about this. It's a prequel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, yes, we are the tenth one. Tenth one, sorry. So work and self-organizing and cross-functional team, exactly. Because as we mentioned before in another principle, huh? when we said like give continuous attention to excellence and build product amount responsible adults and give them the freedom to learn. So you want to work with capable people, with people who have skills, and if they don't help each other by having someone else as a cross-functional and even other people from other team that will come to give you an end. So this is very important. And self-organizing, which means like we are uh, promoting autonomy of the people, the sovereignty of the people decision. And actually any coach out there or even owner should be there as a support to the team that produce continuous value for the organization, the product or services. 11, create a learning culture, share information transparently, inspect and tune your behavior. Yes, 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 and we yes. This is one of the most important. They're all important. They are interrelated with the substantion. But again, this one, it's very, very, very important that when you want self-organized team, people who are learning constantly, driving and produce value constantly, it's important that you create that culture of learning. You let them time to do spike and to inspect and adapt and they will tune their behavior because as human people, we uh, get not along with everybody. But if we understand the focus and the commitment that we are at the workplace, to do something or we work for a team and for a common goal so we could put aside and tune your behavior the time being that you are part of the team so this is very important kind of uh, kind of cross-functional and and, and and the last one and apparently and they're not in order there's no order so i just pick it up like this so communicate directly and honestly and preferably face to face and face to face nowadays if you have teams across the world or for sanitary reason it means that you better be off in a video call than just a call or conference call. So <laughs> I'm hoping that these days in 2021, everybody has at least a, a video conference tool uh, to make it possible to have the face-to-face -face conversation alone or in team. So this is very important. Why? Because you'll be able to nuance things and to get things done very faster than just having a thread of email or Slack. Yeah, Slack is a good tool to document stuff and to have a thread with the hashtag, but please, if you'd like to solve any challenge because you don't have any obstacle about challenge, the best way is to be uh, and face to face, including the video conference and communicate directly and honestly. Honestly, mean that if you have something, if you have a feedback to say, do it. But remember, tune your behavior. You don't have to be uh, a silly uh, patty. Uh, you could be someone with uh, art and empathy, and you're gone. Anyways, what agility brings you also is a lot of. Uh, a lot of empath, a lot of collaboration mindset and so on. And you know, this game, like I did it in 10 minutes and truly with a team and that I coach of about 12, 15 people, I will distribute these cards. I will ask them, read me uh, the principle, tell me what you understand and also tell me, do you do it in your organization and team? And if not, why not? And this is giving us as a coach this is the assessment. Someone asked me the other day, oh, do you do an assessment? No, I'm going there uh, with this card deck and uh, we have this conversation for about an hour or so. Uh, we time box it, depending on the amount of people. And uh, we, uh, I will facilitate uh, a list building. It will be the first proposed value list of any transformation. Because when they say, for example, work and self-organization and cross-functional team, and they will say no and why not? And by answering the why not, we could evaluate uh, any type of tips as a coach and consultant that will be able to give them to reach maybe not tomorrow or the next cycle but uh, as soon as possible to reach this type of at least cross-functional team and then after they'll be autonomous and do it by themselves and I, I had a team last winter very amazing uh, they did that in about three cycles uh, that's it so that was your coach AF if you like this video please give me a thumbs up thumbs up like this yes share it to anyone who would like to understand on a holistic and agnostic way with the business agility mindset out of this software team please please be in 2021 with me we are promoting agility for everyone agile for all so share it with any of your guys and please in the comment below 
ask me your extra question if you'd like to have another capsule of Agile Insider to go in deep of one of these principles maybe, or uh, tell us if we did great, not great, and we'll improve ourselves because we'd like to continuously learn. So until then, I wish you a beautiful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are on this planet, and talk to you soon on the Agile Lounge. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and hit the bell to receive notification. Goodbye, I love you. Thank you.